What is up guys? I'm gonna do a mailbag today, but first I have a giveaway from last video to deal with. User BunkerFest, you win and I'm going to send out this parts and component tester to you as well. I drew one of my Patreon uh, supporters to win a different prize and let's go do that right now. So this is the parts tester and BunkerFest I got you covered. I 3D printed you a case for this as well, just in case you don't have a 3D printer. I did this in the Amaze 3D uh, translucent PLA and I'm super happy with how it turned out. And in fact, I'm so happy, I think I might print one of these and replace my gray case with this. This is pretty cool. So, my Patreon winner for this, this function generator, this uh, waveform generator kit is Julian, which is Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November. Uh, Julian's a longtime supporter of the channel on my Patreon, as well as just been around a really long time. So Julian, if you can use a function and waveform generator, well, here's a cool little kit for you. I'll send this out. Alrighty, let's just get right into it. First up, we got some carbon fiber rods. Now, these are, have got to be the longest order I've waited on eBay for. These I ordered many months ago, and truthfully, I didn't think they were going to come, but they arrived. What we can use these for is our 3D printed aircraft, both as sparse, uh, push rods, you name it, multiple different uses. Now, I have two different aircraft waiting. For those of you who follow this channel, you've seen me print uh, Full Edge 540 from 3D Lab Prints, as well as uh, a small flying wing. Both of them require some of these carbon fiber rods, so I think we should be all set. Uh, I bought them from eBay because these things are quite expensive to, to purchase otherwise, and well, these will work out pretty good. Next up for the RC stuff, this is a small FR Sky 4 channel receiver. This is the V8R4-2. I've never used one of these before, uh, but I needed it for that small flying wing because we're not going to be using a flight controller in it, I don't think. Uh, well, maybe we will. Maybe we'll put a flight control in, but if I decide not to, I can just use this as standard 4 channel. As well, I got two new FR Sky XSRs. These are a full telemetry receiver from FR Sky. My favorite telemetry receiver there is. These just work awesome. They're quite small. It's full bi-directional communication down to my transmitter and back. So I get full telemetry down to my TX. Really, really good for quadcopters. If you've got enough room for a full size one, these really do the job nice. Next up, for various RC and electronics uses, I got all kinds of connectors. Now, these are just bulk that I ordered in one package, and then a nice kit in another. These are the same connectors that we use for balance leads, so we can repair our balance leads as well as use the other side for the PCB connection, the male side. Very, very cool. Also, a nice handy little kit of them. This is the same deal. Inside, we get the various connectors. These will can go right onto my custom-made PCBs uh, for my robotics projects and such, and make a really nice uh, turnkey solution to plugging stuff in and out of the circuit boards. As well for some electronics use, we got some heat shrink tubing. I was out of clear heat shrink. This is a nice little assortment of a few different sizes. Lots in here. Should do the job nicely for my electronics projects and wiring repair and you name it. Alrighty, some more electronics. These I have never had before because I've always used the full size. These are micro SD card adapters for Arduino and Raspberry Pi use. Really handy little thing. I've used the full size SD card ones before. I do like them just fine because you can buy full size SD cards for very, very cheap, but sometimes you need something that fits in a smaller space and this should do the job. 
Also for the quadcopters, got two new GoPro Hero 2 lenses. As you guys know that follow the channel, I use these to uh, retrofit my FPV cameras over to a wide angle lens. And they work fantastic and the price is very reasonable. Just standard GoPro lenses. And lastly, a couple more FPV pieces. This is the AKK X2 Ultimate. This is the brand new 1.2 watt receiver or tra video transmitter from AKK. Should be pretty neat. It has smart audio on board, that way I can control it from my VTX. It has this MMCX style connector, I really like those. And yeah, comes as a complete unit. We'll give it a try. As well, they sent me a all-in-one FPV system. I've never tried one of these. These are mostly used on the small tiny whoop style uh, quadcopters, but you can stick this on any RC plane and use it uh, as your full all-in-one FPV system. Power and ground is all you need and it will transmit out pretty low wattage. Not going to go terribly, terribly far on it, but it will do the job. Nice little camera. Pretty cool little unit. Guys, if you like these videos, if you like these mailbags, go ahead and click a thumbs up down below. It truly helps the channel. I will see you guys in a few days with another video.